I was very uh, proud of our uh, uh, young athletes, uh, what we've endured, and being able to have such emotion playing uh, against a team that uh, obviously we have a player uh, on our team um, from that program. And then uh, obviously what uh, Dre's fight and all of our kids that have fought so hard to make sure that uh, all of us are here together. Uh, we didn't finish. We didn't finish strong enough. Uh, a lot of silly fouls um, at the latter part. Uh, we had a great lead. We should have finished the game. Um, but we didn't knock down some shots at the end, and they did. Scored you those last five minutes, Mike? <coughs> um, i say the last five minutes, uh, I don't really know how to describe how they were. They were kind of just fast pace. Um, once they got on a run, you know, they kind of took the momentum of the game and we fought back and it was just back and forth. And I mean, we had it down to the end. It was by one point. It's never a good feeling. Did they just turn up the pressure defensively a little bit more? Um, they just threw the press on, but it was something that we've went against in practice and we knew that they would throw at us at some point. Coach, what were you hoping to get on the last, on Courtney's last drive to the basket there and then you know, call for the end? Um, well, we got exactly what we needed to. They were just going to clog up the middle. Uh, they weren't going to let any other guard touch the ball and make somebody else. And when you have eight seconds, we're just trying to get the high on ball screen for Courtney to hopefully go through traffic. And if people were open, but the guards stayed. Um, and we got a shot. We had a great rebound. And we had a great putback. Ready to start about, you know, you got the 11 point lead, but then you finally start doing right uh, in that middle of the second half. Um, sure. I think we just executed um, there towards the middle of the second half. We just started executing, um, running things through, through, um, running through plays and getting uh, good looks at the basket. And I think our defense turned up a little bit too, and um, we just stopped doing that. Can you just talk about the job that Alex did? It seemed like it gave you a big boost on inside, especially in the second half. That's what Alex needs to do for us. I mean, that, that's what she's capable of doing. Um, and this game is just going to hopefully be the beginning for her. She obviously endured all her issues, and she's in better shape now. And uh, she has to be our go-to post player. Um, not that she couldn't evolve into that and have. You want to drain Alex being those two being the go-to post players. And, and now Alex uh, stepped up, and she played a great game today. Alex, just talk about what it was like inside there all the long arms, all the long bodies you had to deal with. I mean, it was physical. It's what you expect from an ACC team. So it was just a lot of physicality, um, long arms, and basically that's about it. Alex, you played 27 minutes, had 11 points, four rebounds. Do you feel like this was a, a turnaround game for you, maybe being a playing a good competition and, and getting in there and playing that time and producing like that? Uh, definitely helps the confidence a little bit more. Um, hopefully, I can continue to do better throughout the season. Did you feel like you guys had to knock out some rocks early in the game? Just oh, definitely. I mean, we haven't played in yeah. 11 or so days. It definitely is a, a challenge to do that. And like the coach said, going through the emotional changes with Dre and um, KK surgery, I think it's definitely just like um, starting over again. What, what has the week been long? I mean, it's been a <coughs> roller coaster, I would imagine. And, you know, you back at it again tomorrow. Just what has the week been like? Um, I mean, it's been difficult. I mean, that Tuesday through Sunday was the hardest time for all of us. Uh, we got back to work on Monday. And then Tuesday, obviously, we got a little bit of other news with Dre, um, which was emotional again. Um, but, you know, uh, you just can't hold back. I mean, the kids' effort how hard they worked, how they got after it. I, I mean, I, I couldn't be more proud of being around a group of young women. Win or lose, it wouldn't, you know, it just doesn't feel good. It doesn't settle good right now, but uh, we will reflect back and know that this is just going to continue to hopefully build us um, and know that we have, there's 12 of us, but 10 that are capable of playing and everybody has to continue to grow and step up. Alex, give you guys a little boost to have Dre on the bench there with you for the pregame and some of the second half? Uh, yeah, I definitely did. It's good to see her out and healthy and walking and being with us. And she was just there for a lot of emotional support. And we wanted to go out and play hard for her. And that's basically what we did for her. 
Yeah, it went very well. Um, had it done yesterday, so she was uh, she's down in Indy with her mom, um, and obviously she uh, gave a little pregame talk as well to the group. And uh, you know, I'm sure she was sitting in the in the bed. She's probably just as emotional as everybody else. But it went very well. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah. Coach, what does your team have to do to get ready for another game on Sunday? I don't know. I haven't really looked at them. Um, these last 11 days have been about everything else. So, um, you know, I'll look at them tonight, but they're a great basketball team. They've been playing great talent. They have three losses, but everybody's been in the top 16 in the country that they've gone against. Uh, it's a sold out crowd there. Uh, they buy all the tickets and give it away to kids, all, all the schools. So it's always sold out. We only get a small section because um, that's what they do. Um, but, you know, we, we, uh, we got to get refocused and be ready to go. And we have to forge forward. We can't just put every all eggs in one basket that this was the game that was going to change our life. Uh, our life was changed last week, and now we just got to keep moving forward.